Hi parents and my dear dear children. Today we are going to have a story session which means I am going to tell you a beautiful story and it has got so many colors. You know what the story is about? It's about a parrot. You know what color the parrots are? Green. Yes, look at this parrot. How beautiful it looks. This parrot, his name was Mitu. So the title of the story is Mitu and the Mango. Yes, you can see the mango. And then we'll see what happens in the story. What does Mitu do? What does he do? One day, Mitu was sitting quietly and suddenly he, he was very hungry very hungry and all the butterflies were rumbling in his stomach and he said I want to eat something but he could see looked here and he looked there but he could see nothing he said let me think what to do so Mitu flew up he flew up up and up and up the sky to a far away place. He went flying to a far away place up over the hills and over the homes and over the rivers. He kept flying looking down to see if there's something to eat. But he could see only flowers and gnomes and bear trees and a river. He didn't eat fish because the parrots don't eat fish. They like fruits. So while he was flying and flying and up, he saw a tree. It was a mango tree. Mitchu was so excited. Oh my God! The Mitchu said, "Wow, yellow color mango." This is what I'm hungry for. I want to eat it. And this green beautiful parrot swooped down to eat the mango. And as he came down, what did he see? When he came near the tree, there was a crow who did ah! Me too was so frightened. Look at he went back. Oh no, oh no. He was scared of the crow. And said, so what did he do? He flew back away, far, far away, away from the scary crow. And he came down and sat near another tree. There was a little rabbit. And he was thinking, what to do? I'm so hungry. I want to eat the mango. But I'm scared of that crow. <laughs> and then suddenly, Mitu saw something. He saw a balloon. It was moving here and there on the ground. Mitu got an idea. Hey, now I know what I can do. So Mitu went and picked the balloon in his claws and he flew and he flew and he flew back again to where the crow was on the mango tree. And when the crow was not watching, Mitu went close to him, close to him. He went near him. The crow was thinking something. He was looking on the other side. He didn't know that Mitu was coming behind him. So what did the crow, what did Mitu do? He went near him. He pecked the balloon and the balloon burst. Pop! And the crew got so scared. Oh, he thought a big boom had burst. Oh, I'm going from here. I don't want to be here. He didn't even look at Mitu. And Mitu was so happy that he had scared the scary crow. And the crow flew away. And Mitu was so happy. He went on the tree sat down and chomp, 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 chomp. He ate the mango, chomp, 
chomp, chomp. And then he thought of mommy and papa. So he flew back to his own home and he brought them here on this tree. And he said, all of us, let's feast on the mangoes. Chomp, 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 chomp. And all the parrots were so happy to have so many yellow, yellow mangoes. Juicy, juicy mangoes. The end. Bye.